Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Mrs. Ferraro here. Today we are going to be making an instrument again. Now this is called a castanet and usually they come in pairs. So you have two of them, you have one in each hand and they click, 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 clack together. Um, so the ones we're making are a little, you know, we had to make stuff with with what we've got at home. So here's what, I made one ahead just to show you. I made mine into a little alligator and these are like, his, this is his mouth. So you could just listen to it. And it's really fun. It's fun when you have two. I only made one so I can show you. We're about to make both together, but I just wanted to show you this one. All right, here we go. This is what you will need. You will need um, some bottle caps. So I just got some and I painted them so that they looked more fun. See, little bottle caps. Um, you can color them with marker. You don't have to paint them. They're not. They're going to make the same sound. Um, I got a marker to design it. You can also get, see, I made mine green and orange. Uh, those are his eyebrows. So he's got to look like this. There we go. I made mine green and orange, but you don't have to. Um, I cut off a long strip from a box. See? long and you can put stuff on the bottom too but I didn't feel like it um, and I bent it in half I colored it colored it I added the I painted the polka dots on I used paint if you don't have paint markers will work and if you have googly eyes that would be more fun but I didn't have any googly eyes so I just painted them or drew them with the marker so um, and then you'll need glue um, it might take a while for years to glue because I used a hot glue gun, but those are kind of dangerous and you probably don't have one at home because they get really hot. So you maybe you can tape it or you can glue it. Ask somebody at home what you can have to make them stick. And if you don't have the metal bottle caps, maybe you've got plastic ones or whatever, you can click together to make a metal sound. Okay, so... Um, you cut your, you've got cut cardboard, you've decorated it, you've got your metal to, for the actual, like the bottle cups, and you've got glue and a marker. So, let's make them. Okay, so we've got, um, this is the one I made, now I'm going to show you how to do it. So this is the one that matches it, I'm making this one not angry, but I, it starts out flat like this. Okay, and then this is where you paint it and you de decorate it. So I've got um, this one to match this one with his green body and orange polka dots. Now I'm going to paint this one, and I'll just do one for now. I'm going to paint this one with pink and blue because I love these colors. I'm just going to make some fun design. You can do whatever kind of design you want. does not have to look like mine at all but it can if you want it to okay a couple more stripes all right now just for fun let's go the other way like we're making big x's Hopefully you guys can see that, okay? Looks like you can see it. See, I just made it something kind of fun. All right. I can do the same thing to the other one, but right now, just for time, I'm not going to do it. I've got a black marker. Um, you could just use a pen if you want. I'm just going to draw two little circles down here. For her eyes. We'll call this one a girl since she's pink. Uh, but boys can wear pink too. Okay, so now I've got my design. Now I need to glue on my little mellow, or <laughs> mellow, my metal pieces. Again, I painted mine. You do not have to. Okay, I'm using a glue gun, but glue guns can be kind of dangerous and they can be hard for children to use. So if you need help, if you don't have a glue gun, um, ask somebody at home how to do this. I'm just gluing around the edge of the metal. Oopsie, see I even burned myself. And I'm putting it down here on top, alright? And I've got to press and hold it for a minute so it doesn't go anywhere. 
Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. I've got another one. I'm gluing just around this part. So I'm not going in the middle because if I put glue here, it can't reach the cardboard and I won't be able to do it. So I'm gluing just around here. Okay. I gotta do it kind of, my, if you're using hot glue, you gotta do it kind of quick so it doesn't dry up too fast. So I'm just putting it right on the other end where I put the first one. So then yours should look like this. Okay. All right. So now I've got, this is the easiest part. I've got my metal glued on. I've got him designed. All I have to do now, and it's kind of hard with cardboard. Almost. You just, oopsie, you might need help. Oh, there we go. Now my little monster is ready. And if I've got two, like this, you can do them together. Have fun, you guys. Let me see the ones that you make. Bye-bye.